Hello friends. This is Steve from Alabama. He oh. just came in, took our training. This will be his last day. He'll be graduating today. And just wanted to let him kind of tell the story of what led him here, why he's here, um, what he hopes to do with uh, the training and everything, and by offering the service in Alabama. Well, Roger, what led me to do this, I believe, in my heart of hearts is I'm trying to provide something better for my customer. Right. And I, I know there's a, a great need for this out there because, you know, as we've discussed before, we, so see, we see so many units that are being trashed right. in our landfills or wherever they are. Unnecessarily. And of course, as a, as a tech, I want to know how that thing works. You know, I've been doing this a pretty good while. And you're actually master certified. I am master certified. But no one has ever taught me this stuff. Mm -hmm. And just because it's on paper doesn't mean you know how to do it. I'm telling you that right now. Right. So what I want to do is get hands on, and I want to I want to know how that refrigerator works inside now, and that's just something I have not found till now, and I and I and I, I, I appreciate what you've done there, but uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to provide for my customers a quality job, have a quality product, so they're happy. So when they go out, they're happy camping. Right. Exactly. So they enjoy the, that in the, that lifestyle. So you know this keeps our industry strong for a long, long time. Exactly. You know, so that's kind of what I, you know, I'm, I'm doing for my customer, but I'm doing for the industry as, as a whole. Cause I, that's what's going to keep us strong. It's going to keep, keep, the, keep the camping industry strong. And, I, and, and from a personal point of view, I just like knowing what I'm doing right. inside now. And, you know, they're, you're master certified. There is a lack of education in the RV industry on the RV refrigerator, not saying everything else, but on the RV refrigerator. Right. For you to take that upon yourself, to recognize it, and then take action to do something about it, right. that says a lot about you and well, the service that you're wanting to offer to your customers. Yeah, I, I, want, I want to, you know, I've always said to my customers, I just want to do what I want to get done to me. I, I, I want good service when I go somewhere. And I want to provide them with good service. So, you know, I just treat people like I want to be treated. There you go. Amen. And it works out very well. Yes, it it's is. not hard. So, being master certified, having a lot of education in that area, and you've even went out and got other education from other places. Right. Did you learn anything here that you didn't, didn't learn anywhere else? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, and that's what I say, and the good part about it, here is the hands-on training you get. You don't get that anywhere else. Right. You get a little bit, okay, but it's nothing like this at all. Uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I've been disappointed in some of the training I've done, and I haven't done it for a while. Uh, you know, I used to school of hard knocks is what I've been doing, but as far as I know I need to get more training and keep up with the new stuff. But uh, the other place I've gotten to, you, you get a pamphlet and you, and you looked at some components and you moved on. This here is the best training I have ever seen. I get you get you get a lot of the, the, the book work is very little. Mm -hmm. Out here in the shop is where it's at. Safety is the key number one thing here, yeah. and I appreciate that. But because everything is done very well, from the from the from the you know safety to learning how to do it to going over it and over it. So is it as hard as you thought it'd be? Uh, no, no, it was it's not hard. It's not hard to do this at all. It's just a matter of getting the confidence to come do it, getting you know, and getting the chance. Maybe a lot of people are just getting the opportunity. It's, you know, they want to, they just don't have the opportunity. But I think as they see the need for that, and the and the and with these videos, maybe showing that this is not hard. Right. It's just knowing how to do it, having the tools, having the knowing right what tools, to do, knowing what to do. Uh, it's it's been fantastic. Good. I really appreciate it. Good. Well, if you're anywhere near Alabama and you're having problems with the RV refrigerator, you know, you need to go to our website, rvrefrigeration.com, go to the RVRN page and find out where Steve's at, give him a call, make an appointment to go in. I guarantee he'll take good care of you. He'll treat you right. That's right. Um, anything else you'd just like to add to, to the industry? It, it's not only, I mean, I think we're 
we're doing this to educate the RV yeah. owner and the RV industry. Yeah, I just hope at one point you know, the RV industry will get some get you know used to you. They there was a marketing time at one time where the industry was trying to 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 do the right things. I think, but I think they've kind of slacked off. I, I don't know why. Uh, but anyway, I would love to see the RV industry see this and think this is what we need to be doing more of: right. educating our techs right. in the RV industry. I would love to see that. Well, and there's something that we were discussing the other day. You know. 50 years ago, the, the the technicians were telling the RV owner that you needed to throw it away and buy a new one. Right. Now here it is, 2015, and the techs today are telling people to throw it away and buy a new one. Right. That's got to change. Yes. And that can only change with education. Yes. That's, that's good. And this is a good place to start. Really good, good place. Well, it's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Thanks for watching and GBYAY. -E